Shalom, my name is Adi Mizrahi. In this work, we unraveled some previously unknown changes that occur in the brain of new mothers. Specifically, we studied cortical changes in mouse dams shortly after giving birth to their offsprings. Becoming a mother signifies a critical time in the life of most mammals. The transition into motherhood requires alertness and active protective behavior by the mothers. For example, in this short video, we can see a typical mother in a pup retrieval assay. Her nest is the red shelter on the left side of the image, and she's actively exploring her environment. In this assay, we introduced the pups into the cage one by one. The mother then efficiently detects the pups and retrieves them back to the safe nest. The mother identifies the pups by their unique odors and unique vocalizations. In our work, we tested how the smells of the pups affect the auditory part of the brain, therefore studying multisensory integration by the mothers. My colleague, Lior Cohen, will next describe some of these findings from Jerusalem. Hello, my name is Lior Cohen, and I'm a postdoc at the Mizrahi lab. To study the possible association between olfaction and audition in the context of motherhood, we recorded from single neurons in the primary auditory cortex of female mice. Here's a typical recording of a neuron in a mother smelling clean air. In blue is the electrical activity. The red dots indicate tone presentation. Evidently, this neuron is not very active. This can be seen in the plot shown on the right. However, when we added to the airstream the scent of her pups, the same neuron now responds robustly to a range of tones. In this way, we mapped the activity of over 400 neurons, most of which showed dramatic changes in their auditory responses when pup smells were introduced. This multisensory integration of sounds and natural smells do not occur in naive virgins. But interestingly, naive virgins that had only a few days of experience with the pups show similar plasticity to that of the mother, both behaviorally and physiologically. These results point us to conclude that the mere experience with the pups may be enough to trigger dramatic brain changes normally related to motherhood. However, does the brain of the mother change equally to all sounds or is it tuned to sounds that matter most? Using our recordings, we found that general sounds were affected heterogeneously, but that pup vocalizations had a unique signature of change. This is a sound of broadband noise that we've played. The pie plot shows the changes neurons underwent following odor presentation. Changes are heterogeneous. But when we played ultrasonic vocalizations, we observed a different result. This is a pup ultrasonic vocalization that is slowed down so that humans can hear it. Here is an example for one neuron which responds to ultrasonic vocalizations before and after pup orders were introduced. As indicated in the plot, most of the neurons had an amplified response to this natural sound. In many ways, our work is only the beginning. We describe a phenomenon of multisensory integration as it appears from the perspective of single neurons in one brain region. But sensory information is processed along more intricate pathways within the cortex and also elsewhere in the brain. Further studies in the areas of olfaction and audition will allow us to deepen our understanding of the mechanisms of change during motherhood a remarkable time for brain plasticity, exactly when nature calls.